So letter combinations in Arabic always involve one of the three long vowels. These are alif, waw, or ya. We're going to start with alif and see what kind of combinations we can make using alif. Before we get started, alif is written as we see on the screen, and it is made up of two parts. The sign on top, and that is called hamza, and then the rest of the sign, and that is called Alif. So basically, Alif is made up of Hamza and Alif. We're going to talk about the second or the lower part first, and then we're going to talk about Hamza uh, later in the video. If we add Alif to Lam, you're going to have Al, which means the. And this is actually a very common combination. Like in the example, Al Kitab. Al Kitab starts with Al, which means the book. Another combination which is when we turn them around, so we start with lam and then alif, you're going to write it like this. This combination cannot be attached to anything from the left side. Like in the example, kalam. Kalam. And kalam means talking. Notice here that the alif is shorter and avoid making the length of alif the same as lam. This is another way we write this combination. So if you see it written down like that, don't be confused. They mean the same thing. If we added al, alif, lam, and then alif, then we will have the al, a. And that is basically a combination that is also very common. And this happens when you want to add the, the article, to a word that starts with alif already. Sometimes you see hamza put on top of the alif, the second alif in the combination, but it doesn't happen always. Like in this example, and that is al akl. Al akl. So al akl means the food. The food. So al akl. Next up, if you added alif that has fatha on top, add another alif, you will end up with this sign. And this sign on top of alif is called med, which means extending. So we're going to pronounce alif, but a little bit longer than usual. So al, al. In this example, al means family of. So the med is a combination of two alifs. So what is the difference between alif without hamza and alif with hamza? The one on the right is a long vowel. The one on the left is not a vowel. And it gives the sound of a. As an example, on the right, we say fez. Fez. A long vowel. A. On the left, we say fa'r. Fa'r. And this little stop in your throat, that is the a sound the hamza sound so far fez this is the difference between alif and hamza and as you can see there is a fatha on top of the alif we can also add dhamma and this is also possible but what if i want to add kasra can i just put it under the hamza and the answer is no if you have kasra under the alif you're gonna have to put the hamza under the alif as you can see on the screen like in this example ilay Ilay means to me. Sometimes we use Hamza added to well, which gives us O sound. Like in this example, lu 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 means pearl. In another combination, we can also add Hamza to ya. And this gives us two different situations. If it comes at the end of the word and it's going to look like that, and if it comes in the middle of the word, and the Hamza will be on the Ya, will look like that. For example, if it comes at the end in the word Shay, Shay, it will look like that, and Shay means thing. And if it comes in the middle, it will be like that, like Vib, Vib, and that means wolf. You can also use the Hamza on its own in a word. Like in the example, as-sama, as which means 
the sky. The last combination or the last special letter we're going to look at is the ya and the we call it ya maqsura. And the ya on the right has two dots under it and this is actually very important because it means you pronounce it normally like e sound. Like in this example likay likay means in order to on the left side, ya maqsura is pronounced like an alif, like in the word mustafa, mustafa. So we don't say mustafi, we say mustafa. So ya maqsura has this little symbol on top of it, and it is pronounced just like the alif. I'm going to give you a number of words that involve the new combinations that we have learned. You're going to try to pronounce them on your own using the rules that we have learned today. Pause the video, try to pronounce them, and then compare your pronunciation to the way I'm going to read them after a short while. So the first word is Al-Qur'an. means Qur'an. Second word, Qira'a means reading ila means to yu'zi sa'il ala so this is going to be the end of today's lesson everyone if you have any questions or suggestions to coming videos please leave them in the comments and if you like the video spread it and share it for other people to learn from it thanks and see you next time